How's it going? Adam Drake here, and today I'm going to talk and share a little bit of information about front engine bearings. So, a leaky front bearing can cause nightmare. Um, it can be very difficult to tune, you can lose power, um, but the big thing is just inconsistencies in tuning. Um, essentially, a leaking front bearing is an air leak, and these engines are essentially small little pumps. If that pump has a leak, it's not going to run properly. So it's super important to make sure you not only use a good front bearing, but that it's not leaking. But one thing that I see from time to time is when guys are inspecting or cleaning their car, maybe it's been a couple days after their last race or a week or two, and sometimes you'll notice there has been a little bit of seeping or leaking from the front bearing, and there'll be a little bit of fuel or oil puddled up behind the flywheel right at the front bearing. Now, like I said in the beginning, a leaking front bearing is going to cause a lot of headaches and nightmares. But that, that's going to happen when the front bearing is leaking during operation of the engine. Again, you'll know right away based on how the engine is running and tuning. If you use after run oil or if you leave a little bit of fuel in the tank, sometimes depending on the weather, if it's really hot, if you store um, your RC stuff in your trailer, gets really hot in the trailer, or even the orientation of how your car sits, you can pump a little bit of excess fuel into the engine or, like I mentioned, if you're using after run oil, which you should be, that extra oil can essentially just run and seep out of the front bearing. Now, that's not something to be concerned about. Again, if the engine is running and performing good, the front bearing's not leaking. But if it does sit, that oil has to run somewhere. It's gonna either, if the orientation of the engine is like this, like say if the, the car is hanging on the wall, um, that oil is gonna run to the back, you're not gonna notice any seeping out of the front bearing. If the car is sitting with the orientation with the nose of the engine down, that excess oil in the engine is gonna run to the front bearing. Now, Again, you, it's, it's good that you're looking over, you're checking for things, you know, checking the air filter, making sure that the boot doesn't have any holes, making sure um, that everything is staying clean and neat. But if you ran last weekend, two weeks ago, and your engine was performing great, everything was good, but you go to pull the engine out to check the clutch and you notice that there's been a little bit of oil or fuel that's puddled up, it's probably nothing to be concerned about or worried about. It's normal if some of that oil and fuel can seep out of the front bearing. I just take a microfiber towel, wipe it off really good. You can use a little bit of brake cleaner on a microfiber towel if you choose to, but usually just wiping it off with a dry microfiber towel is good. Now, if you notice after each run, you go to blow your car off and you look and you see that it continues to be wet. Well then yes, the front bearing is leaking. That is something to be concerned about. But if in between races, you inspect your engine and you see a little bit of oil, it's really not anything to be concerned about. These front bearings um, for off-road, they all use a rubber seal front bearing and it's not 100% sealed. Um, when the engine's running um, and functioning properly, it shouldn't be forcing fuel out unless that seal is bad. Um, in some on-road engines, they even use a metal shielded bearing. And again, that's not gonna be 100% airtight, but the engine can run and perform fine with that. So I did, a video a long time ago where I talked about 
compression and knowing when your engine is worn out and if the engine holds itself up it it's still good um, that that video I think was helpful for a lot of people but it also freaked a lot of people out because you may have an engine that's running and operating perfect but you happen to do the test and it doesn't hold itself up and you freak out and you're like my engine's worn out that's not always the case and it's the same thing with the bearings if you notice a little bit of seeping when the engine is sitting but the engine's performing and running great on the track um, it's not something to freak out and worry about um, so hopefully this helps you hopefully it gives you a little bit better peace of mind and uh, you don't notice a little bit of oil or fuel at the front of the engine and think that you have troubles um, again if the engine's running good um, keep using after run oil when you're storing the engine because um, that's going to help just make the the bearings last much longer um, but if the engine's running good keep a clean filter you do your normal maintenance to the clutch you should be good to go